Hello students, welcome to Narayana Live Classes. Today I am here to explain physics assignment related to the topic refraction of light. Let us see question number 1. Object distance is always negative, why? So here object distance is always negative, the statement is given, but he is asking why? So before knowing this, you have to uh, revise sign convention topic. What is the first point in sign convention? All the distances should be measured from pole. Okay, we are measuring any distance. Suppose, let us say object distance definition. Object distance is nothing but the distance from pole to object. Yes or no? So here, every distance should be measured from pole. So from this point, suppose this is a lens and here you have focus. So here is the object. And the second point is the distance, see this is the ray, after refraction it will pass through focus. The second point is if the distance is measured in the direction of incident ray that is considered as positive. If the distance is measured opposite to the direction of incident ray then it is taken as negative. See here object is here. So this is object distance from pole to object. This is object distance. Okay. Now you are measuring object distance opposite to the direction of incident ray. So that's why object distance is negative. It is maybe a mirror or lens, whatever it may be, object distance is always negative. Question number two. Why focal length of convex lens is positive? Let us see with the help of a diagram. This is a convex lens. So I am sending parallel rays, parallel beam of rays. So when you send the parallel beam of rays, after refraction, they will converge at a point. So that point is called focus. So we know that. So after refraction, they are converging at this point. So this point is called focus and the distance from pole to focus is called focal length. See here, this is the direction of incident ray and we are measuring the direction, we are measuring the focal length in the direction of incident ray. So that's why focal length is positive in case of convex lens. Question number three. How do you know focal length is positive or negative? Just now we have seen in case of convex lens. Now let us see concave lens. So this is a concave lens and this is the principal axis, this is the pole and again I am sending parallel beam of incident rays. See here, this is the ray 1, ray 2 and ray 3. After refraction, they will diverge. See, like this. Like this. So when you extend these rays, so they will converge at a point or the refracted rays appears to come from a point. So that point is called focus here. So now we are measuring the distance from pole to focus. This is called focal length, which is opposite to the direction of incident ray. So that's why concave, le concave lens focal length is negative and convex lens focal length is positive. Based on this sign convention rule, we can say whether the, posit whether the focal length is positive or negative. Question number four, which lens has positive magnification? 
okay coming to the magnification what is the formula for magnification in case of lens in case of mirror we know that m is equal to minus v by u that is equal to h i over h o but coming to the lens that is magnification m is equal to h i over h o that is equal to v over u okay so if you have so as per sign convention rule this is a convex lens so now this is the object let us draw an image formation diagram so i am drawing a simple image formation diagram see here you got the image height of the object is positive why all the distances which you are measuring which are above the principal axis are considered as positive below the principal axis are negative so this is a real image so here this is inverted and below the principal axis so here you will get the value minus h i over h o see in case of convex lens you have negative magnification but in case of a concave lens or you can say in case of virtual image you get a positive magnification question number 5 why is the magnification of real images taken as negative and for virtual images it is taken as positive in case of real image the image is forming below the principal axis and in case of virtual images virtual images are nothing but virtual and erect images these images are forming above the principal axis because of this reason virtual images are positive and real images have a negative magnification question number 6 are real images always inverted yes you can see multiple image formation diagrams when you place the object between pole and focus this is a pole and this is focus and this is you can consider as f1 2f1 f2 2f2 suppose the object is placed at this point see sorry see here you got the image this is a inverted image okay or you can say upright image so in the same way if you place the object at the center of curvature in next case we'll see the object is placed at center of curvature f1 2f1 f2 2f2 So the object is placed at center of curvature. See, in this case also you got an inverted image. Whatever the condition it may be, if you have a real image, it is always inverted. In case of convex lens, we get real images always, except when you place the object between. Poland focus thank you students stay home stay safe